uh, this session I will discuss you why RevitMQ or any type of message broker is needed in application. Most of the time developer has some problem uh, that, that the problem is when a developer know uh, or uh, get information some new technology uh, they try to implement it in their, in their code but uh, he or she don't understand in why it needed. First of all, in this session, we first need to understand why message broker needed in our application. Without it, what type of problem is arise? So this section is very, very crucial part for your understanding. And first uh, three or four video in my series is very, uh, is a technic, uh, not in technical part, we is a theoretical because we first need to understand why we use it and what it needed, why it needed then we implement we start implementing in our code okay so here is the animation i start the presentation why we why it need first a company owner uh, suppose you are working in a company and you you have a, a five or six developer uh, one day your business owner or your company owner or management decided uh, they to de uh, to develop a e-commerce uh, e website okay so what type of website uh, e-commerce website so first of all before implement coding uh, the team management first to think how they find out their business and what the process they will move uh, move your business okay so brainstorming part is um, done there then after the business uh, documentation completed they find out the what type of module need to develop in application uh, after this scenario they uh, comes to the development uh, per team or project manager uh, sit uh, uh, sit together and find out what type of module need to develop in for this e-commerce so they find order module shipment module registration stock payment notification email sms and more and more feature needed to develop to complete the development process of this application okay so the project manager or development team after their internal discussion uh, they told the company uh, or the management team management team they need two months to complete all the feature in application okay so everything is very good wow, wow factor and company uh, management and business team and development they are very excited because they are developing new thing within a short time and development team you know every business team one they get um, result very short time from a development team and when the development team told them only with uh, within two months they complete the feature they are very happy and wow wow scenario present in both of the team okay now life cycle of a customer buying a product after the e-commerce is development completed or mobile app anything so first of all uh, a customer enter the application then uh, from the list of product they find, choose their needed product after the choose product they add to product in their cart and then after the completed cart part they enter the checkout process uh, they fulfill all their details, address, uh, full name, uh, mobile number, etc. etc. information. Then comes to the payment part. They complete their payment. After the payment complete, you see various uh, backend work is done there. What type of? In every commerce, you know the stock update is needed. Start the uh, order from processing. Uh, another team is uh, get information what type of data uh, what type of order need to be processed another team uh, then the request uh, uh, another table need to be hit for shipment information then send email to the customer uh, sms also notification also and after the com product order is completed totally wow not a, any problem happened there but if you see when a customer entered uh, entered the application you see how many process he or she need to complete they completed this part but in the background system 
how much extra work need to complete the order process so what the problem of this application customer waste long time to complete his purchase application is very fat need huge process time because customer waiting uh, for a long to complete all the process uh, trade are very busy to serving huge threat uh, sorry the spelling is wrong trade are very busy to serving huge work so we need to break this application a small part that is called microservice okay so why first of all you need to you need to find out the pain factor if you not find out the pain factor you cannot find a proper solution so then we understand oh yeah development team uh, they discuss internally um, so our system is needing huge time we need to break down our application then they start their brainstorming how to uh, how to break the application in microservice part okay so next video i i am discussing more information okay